When you close your eyes, you're giving yourself some space. We take in so much of the world. It seems to be rushing in at us. But we can choose what to focus on and what not to. This is important. Otherwise our lives get frazzled into little tiny bits. We don't really accomplish anything because everything gets scattered. You have to stop and think for a while, what do you really want out of life? What's really important? And meditating gives you a good chance to do that. You clear the space inside. You have your safe space here, quiet space, and then the different voices in your committee can speak up, and you can hear them, and you can decide which which tone of voice you want to identify with, which one you don't, what which ideas you want to take on, which ones you don't. Otherwise, these voices just start yelling at you, yelling at you, and you basically give in to whichever one seems to be yelling the strongest. It's not necessarily the things that are most pressing are the most important. You have to push some things aside and say, okay, those are not my concern right now. But due to this well, the mind needs to have a good, solid foundation inside. So clear your little space inside here. The affairs of the world don't have to come in here unless you invite them in. Otherwise, you're in charge. John Cha has a nice image. He says it's like having a house in which there's one chair, and you sit in the chair. And anybody else who comes in the house has to stand. And if they're, they're people you want to have stay around, okay, you invite them to sit down. Otherwise, you can let, just let them go. Otherwise, if they come in and sit in the one chair, then you're at a disadvantage. So thoughts come in, ideas come in, other people's ideas, your own ideas. You have to sort them out first. You take the, sh the, the one seat and let them present their case. And you're the one in the position to say, okay, this is the ones I want to, these are the ones I want to side with, these are the ones I don't. Don't let them push you around. You want to be in charge inside. And staying with the breath, staying solidly with the breath is a good way to get started. So your mindfulness and alertness and your discernment are in charge, and not your greed, aversion, and delusion. You want the good side of the mind to be the one that's got the most power, got the most strength. So that's what we do as we meditate. We strengthen the good side of the mind, change the balance of power inside. That way, what you, the way you've decided what you want out of your life, that takes first priority and doesn't get pushed aside.